All right. Thanks for joining us today for our Cancer Care Virtual Series. Uh, my name is Carmen Boone. I'm an outreach coordinator for the Samaritan Cancer Resource Center. And today I'm happy to be your host and moderator. This event is brought to you by the Samaritan Cancer Resource Center. We partner with anyone touched by cancer to provide the support they need to live with strength, determination, and hope into the future. We have some housekeeping items to keep in mind. As a reminder, all microphones are muted and will remain muting during this session. Um, this presentation is being recorded. Please use the questions menu to type your questions and comments at any time. The questions will be monitored throughout the duration of the seminar and time will be reserved at the end for the presenters to address these questions. We'll do our best to get to all of them. The slides can be downloaded from the handouts menu. Um, if you have any problem or comments or questions, please send us an email at cancerresourcecenter at somehealth.org. All right. Um, let's keep moving on. Today, um, I am pleased to introduce you to our speakers. Um, we're going to talk a very important topic, and I know everybody will walk away with more knowledge and um, about exercising and about what Samaritan can offer for you. Our speakers today are Kristen Baker. She's a clinical research coordinator from the Samaritan Clinical Research Department, and Joanne. Sorry, Marvin. I'm Marcia. <laughs> <laughs> and she's an instructor for one of our Sam Fit um, organizations that we have. And so now, um, without further ado, I will leave you with um, with them. You're in good hands. So I'm transferring the presentation to Kristen right now. And give us a couple of seconds. Wonderful. Um, do you see that on your side, Carmen? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, then I will get us going. So my name is Kristen Baker. I am one of the clinical research coordinators here at Samaritan. And um, today we're going to be talking about our exercising together class. And it is actually one of the um, studies that I am involved in here in our research department. So to begin, what is exercising together? Um, exercising together is a partner-based exercise program that primarily focuses on strength training, balancing, stretching, and also aims to improve overall mental, physical, and relationship health in cancer survivors and their caregivers, or significant others in this case. Um, so classes are held twice a week for an hour and are virtually led by Joanne, who you have just met, um, and she is the Sam Fit Health Specialist, Fitness Specialist. So um, for this program, for this study, we do have some inclusion criteria of patients who are eligible to enroll. So primarily um, patients with a histologically confirmed cancer without evidence of metastatic disease are eligible, as well as they must be five years or less from their cancer diagnosis. Um, we are not specific on the type of cancer they are diagnosed with, and we are open to them all. Um, they must have completed chemotherapy. However, they can be actively receiving radiation or have finished their radiation. Um, they must also have a family member or a friend who is willing to participate and they must be there with them in the same household as this is a virtual class. Um, and I will get to that point, but we also need to have patients who are between the ages of 40 and 75. And for the study purposes, we have some inclusion criteria around um, those who must be considered underactive. However, I will touch on that point a little bit later on. Um, 
And lastly, as I mentioned, since this is virtual, they must have access to internet and a computer or a tablet with a camera. So they will be setting up um, their device in order to have Joanne be able to watch them through the computer screen. So it's just important that they are visible so Joanne can make sure that their form is correct. So from the research side of things, um, we're asking the question of why is exercising with a partner important? So have we have understood uh, cancer affects everyone involved in a patient's life, especially family caregivers. Um, and these people often suffer with issues with social roles, activity limitations, tension in marital and family relationships, psychological stress, and deterioration of physical health in some points. Uh, we also think that this is important because some studies indicate that spousal caregivers experience more psychological distress and less social support than patients do. So meaning that the severity of caregivers negatively ex negative experiences could affect their capacity to care for their survivors. Um, therefore, it is imperative that attention is given to caregivers during the cancer treatment. We also think that exercising with a partner is important because caregivers are better off when they're engaged in social support programs. Um, as a social, a social support can minimize the negative ramifications of caregiver stress and also increase quality of life. Uh, very few studies have been conducted on caregivers' quality of life and family-centered intervention during cancer treatment. And lastly, um, we have also seen positive impacts could be achieved in the development of lifestyle programs geared toward cancer survivors and their caregivers. So when cancer survivors exercise with their significant other or their caregiver or a family member, they encourage each other to exercise more through accountability while simultaneously also improving their overall health and strengthening their relationship and their bond. Um, patients and caregivers both suffer from stress that could be relieved through exercise. So overall, the take home message is that it's very important that patients and their caregivers spend quality time together, which can be done and is seen through this program that we are offering. Um, they're able to commit time together during the week that they can look forward to and also improve their physical and mental health and spend some quality time together encouraging one another. Um, another question some may ask is why is this, um, maybe even why is this a study or why is this being conducted? So um, it's well known that physical activity can impact uh, positively your overall mental health, overall physical health, your overall health. So this includes um, impacting both uh, the caregiver and the partner. Um, so also approximately 33% of cancer deaths in non-smokers are preventable through changes in diet and exercise. So this really just emphasizes how crucial lifestyle behaviors are in cancer prevention and also through the diagnosis and just working through um, beating this. Uh, so also this study is being conducted to see if a program like this would be sustainable in a rural community. So currently this program was developed at OHSU by a woman named Carrie Winters. Um, and it's currently being offered there with great success. She is the one that piloted this program. So we were able to um, mimic this in Samaritan. So however, it being offered up there in urban populations might be easier to enroll patients because they see a higher patient um, population there. So we just want to see if we have enough members in our community that would be interested in something like this since we are considered more of a rural community across Samaritan. And lastly, the study is being conducted to offer a virtual exercise class that can be conducted from home. So as we have gone through two of these classes already, um, we've realized that a lot of these patients with the COVID pandemic were so were unable to offer the class in person. Um, and so we had to switch over to this virtual platform and we've gotten great feedback from all of our participants and patients regarding the online platform, as many people are not wanting to go into the gym right now because of COVID. And so we would like this to continue virtually for quite some time um, as this pandemic continues as well. So on the research side of things, you might ask like what research is being done in this? So really the gist of our research is doing surveys before and after the class. Um, so pre and post surveys, we do follow them in uh, three months after the class and six months after the class to see if they've continued their exercise or if they've continued seeing um, progression in any of these areas. But the surveys focus on emotional support, just 
depression, emotional distress, fatigue, and physical function. So really by being able to conduct surveys within the cancer patients, we are able to determine if this class can positively affect their outcomes with physical activity. So these surveys are also only being given to the cancer patient. Their partner does not have to fill these out. Um, so, so far, as I mentioned, we've offered two classes. We had a fall and a winter class, and um, we have enrolled 12 cancer patients along with their partner. So we've had 24 total people enrolled in this class, and we have seen some significant increases in each category. Um, there obviously has been some who have not necessarily shown great improvements in the surveys. However, they are able to have significant improvements in their strength. Um, and a lot of this is just due to life stressors getting in the way. Um, however, yeah, it's been very encouraging to see patients continue to be physical after their class and also be able to see where they started in their journey and then where they ended after those 12 weeks when it comes to um, exercises that they're capable of. Um, and there's also been clear improvements in their, the relationship between the class and the partners as well. Um, this has been a great at getting to know one another in the community, but virtually. So there's a lot of talking that goes on between these folks and it has just, you can see the relationships building almost right in front of you, which has been great. Uh, so currently, where are we right now in this program? So as I mentioned, this was created, this program was created by Carrie Winters at OHSU. So we actually received a grant from them and we are working off that grant right now and recently got an extension. So we are only able to offer one more class through the grant. Um, and that class does begin February 28th of this year. And so we, if you are interested in this class or you know of anyone interested, please feel free to let me know. I do have some contact information coming up where you can call me or email me if this sounds interesting because we are currently recruiting. Um, but we're also working towards implementing this program into Samaritan moving forward. So since this will be, this is through a grant, um, unfortunately it will come to an end, but since we have gotten such great feedback, we're currently trying to figure out where we can grab some funds in order to place this into Samaritan, Samaritan system. And lastly, this is just a slide about patient progress and feedback. So as I mentioned, we do give those surveys and we do what we call like a debrief after the 12 weeks is over with. And these quotes are just some of um, the things that our patients have said about this class. And then in the middle is actually a patient's um, report progress on where they started. So you can see in September 1st, they have their information on the reps that they were able to do um, with weight, without weight, and then you can see where they ended. So this is just one patient, for example. There's plenty of other ones of these, but we just wanted to show you what this can kind of look like um, as the time goes on within those 12 weeks and where their improvements are showing in other ways. And lastly, um, this is my contact information, so feel free to reach out with any questions. Um, or if you have any interest in this, I would love to be able to squeeze someone in for the next class. Um, but other than that, I'm going to have Joanne go ahead and take over. Hi, so I'm Joanne Markham. I'm Lead Health Fitness Specialist at SanFit. Um, currently, I'm working at Lebanon, Albany, and Newport, but my office is here in Albany with it. So what I'm going to do today is kind of give you an example of how the class um, progresses, what exercises we're going to do, and stuff like that to give you a general idea. So exercises that we do, I try and do a full body workout. So we're going to do upper body, lower body, and core. So upper body, trying to hit kind of what we call a balance. So doing the front and the back of our muscles and getting the arms and stuff done. Lower body squats. I know everybody loves squats, but squats are probably one of the most beneficial exercises out there. It's been proven that doing squats is going to actually help you maintain your independence throughout your life. So just the ability to get up out of a chair, out of the bed, is what's going to keep you being independent or being in assisted living. But the, and then core is important. We want to make sure core is strong. It helps us stay upright and <clears throat> be able to function. Next. So this is our equipment. We're actually kind of excited. We got some new equipment this time around. So we have adjustable dumbbells 
And what we have done is we have created YouTube videos for both the exercises and how to operate some of this new equipment. Um, we have an adjustable bench that can work as a step or as an incline bench. Um, you can also store some of your weights in there if you want to. We have weighted balls that we'll be utilizing for partner exercises. Or if you don't, if the dumbbells are a little bit too heavy, you can also use the weighted ball as well. And then the foam pads we're going to utilize for balance exercises. And then as Crystal mentioned, um, people recording their exercises. So you will actually get a journal and you'll record each time um, how many sets you're doing, what type of weight you're doing. And then at the very end, with your last journal entry, you will actually send me all your information then we'll compile that. Next. So this is actually the class format that we do. Um, have people pop in at least five minutes before class, preferably about 10, 15. That just gives us a time to kind of chat, see how everybody's week's going, what they did for the weekend. Um, if there's any assigned homework of like bad dad jokes or what's your favorite vacation spot, that's kind of where we talk about that at that point in time. And then we start right on the dot doing our warm up. That way we don't have any interruptions with doing our exercises. So warm up usually takes about three to five minutes. And then we get right into the nitty gritty going into circuit one, and then we go into circuit two and then partner exercises and balance and cool down is at the very end. And then at the very end of class, before anybody goes, so you can't leave early, I will give you the homework. So yes, you get homework in this class. Warm up. So it's very important that we warm up our muscles before we do any exercises. This is actually getting the muscles ready to go so that we don't injure ourselves. And then this is the breakdown of how the circuits work. So this is a partner class and partners are going to be going back and forth between the exercises. So we'll be going back and forth from upper body to lower body and to core <clears throat> with it. So each partner will be doing the exercise for 60 seconds. Once the first partner is done, at that point in time, you will change positions, change roles, change the weights if you need to, adjust anything that you need to. Um, we'll give you time to go ahead and adjust that. We're not gonna keep you on the clock saying it has to be done really quick. And then the next partner will do their exercise. After the first circuit, you get a drink break, a little breather, and then we go into doing circuit two. And circuit two will be similar to circuit one, just different exercises. Next. So this is the breakdown. <clears throat> So exercises are done for 60 seconds. So one person is gonna be the exerciser, the other partner is gonna be the spotter. The exerciser will do the exercises for 60 seconds. Once they're done with that 60 seconds and they've recorded their exercises, how many sets and reps, you will switch positions and responsibilities. The second partner will complete the next set and then this format will go all the way through for circuit one and circuit two. Partner exercises. So this is kind of our partner building time. Um, it's always fun to be able to do exercises with your partner. So what we do for partner exercises is doing rotations, which is great for the core, and then doing planks with high fives. And then at the very end, we're going to do balance and cool down. Balance work is really something we need to focus on because if we don't work on our balance, we can start losing it. And by losing your balance, you're also at risk for doing falls. So maintaining your balance is very much a fall prevention exercise with it. And then cool down can be Tai Chi, um, flexibility, range of motions, just getting the body cooled down after working out with it and then <clears throat> what so that'll be just the flexibility part of it next extra so now we've kind of gone through what the class format's going to be now we're getting into the responsibility of partner one and partner two so one partner is going to be called the exerciser so the exerciser does have duties and responsibilities they need to perform the exercises to the best of their ability while maintaining proper form. So when we first start the class, I will be kind of calling out the form. 
um, any corrections that need to be given. But as the class progresses, this will become the spotter's responsibility. So it's okay to push yourself. You just need to maintain that proper form. And then always remember to ask your spotter for help. I can't help you through the screen, so you need to talk to your spotter. If the weight's too heavy, they need to take it from you. And then the spotter has duties as well. So the spotter, it's your job <clears throat> to spot your partner. It's kind of in the term of what your job is. You need to coach on technique. So if you see the form wavering a little bit, you constructively coach them how to correct it. You always encourage your partner, never yell at them. And then you keep track of the exercises that are being done. So once we get a little bit further with the class, it'll be the exerciser's responsibility to keep track of how many exercises they've done so that the spotter can then concentrate more on the form. Um, if you notice your partner's form is starting to falter, encourage your partner, constructively correct them, don't berate them, and be ready to assist them if you see that their form is faltering or if you're helping them lower and get up off the bench or if the weight becomes too heavy. And yes, I did mention homework. So it's not that there's a test at the end of class or any pop quizzes. This homework is mainly formed to kind of help you with the wellness part of fitness and then also kind of get to know each other. So some of the wellness areas, um, we focus on the six, six aspects of wellness. So that can be with occupational, spiritual, um, physical. There's six different ones that we can choose from. So each individual pick one of these areas of wellness to focus on and you do that at the beginning of this <clears throat> excuse me, session and you will continue to focus on that creating goals and then seeing where you end up at the very end of our sessions. Um, the other one we do is get to know each other. So kind of like I was saying, you know, your favorite vacation spot, where were you born? Um, just kind of stuff to break the ice and get to know one, one another. And that way we can kind of build a communi community as we're going forward. We're also going to this time focus a little bit more on the partner building exercises. So exercises that are done between partner one and partner two. So homework given to you to kind of perform and figure out different exercises with that. And then when we're exercising, always helpful hints to keep in mind. So please make sure you check with your physician before performing any new exercise program. So when you're doing your exercise program, you're always going to hear somebody asking you if you breathe, it's probably going to be me but you always want to exhale when you're doing the work of the exercise and the work is when you're actually lifting the resistance against the pull of gravity so that can be the weight that could actually be your body keep hydrated make sure you're drinking lots of water when you're doing this you're going to start sweating so you're losing fluids so you need to maintain those fluids keep a towel handy in case you start sweating you don't want the weights to slip out of your hand <clears throat> slip on your partner's foot or your foot um, engage your core so you prevent low back injuries and always give praise and correct form when needed. Um, keep your elbows and knees joints soft so we never lock those joints. Um, if you lock your knee joints you may have the tendency to actually cut off the blood supply to your brain and you might actually faint. Nobody has ever done that on to me before but there's always a first time. And then most important I want you guys to have fun with this class. And then this is my contact information. Um, the best way to reach me is actually via email. So just jmarkham at samhealth.org. You can call me, but I am not always in my office. So it might be a few days before I get back to you. And feel free if you have any questions with what exercises we might be doing. Um, like I said, we will be posting YouTube videos on how to perform these exercises. So you guys can have them as a referral throughout the sessions that we're doing. I think that's my portion. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Joan. Thank you so much, Kristen. Um, so now um, I'm going to take over the screen sharing. So just bear a moment with me. There we go. Um, 
Thank you so much um, to the audience. Please write your questions and comments on the question menu. Um, we're going to give you a couple of minutes for you to type. And while we're entering your questions and comments, we'll go over some little points to remember. So if you would like to obtain more resources and more information about the Cancer Resource Center, feel free to contact us by phone, email, or visit our website. On the screen, you can see our different phone numbers, um, our website, and our email address. So feel free to contact us with any questions. Also, um, we are planned, we have planned to provide several different cancer care virtual seminars during this year. Um, there are a couple of upcoming events. One of them is protecting your mental health while navigating cancer on Wednesday, Wednesday February 2nd. The next one is decoding your mammogram and Wednesday, February 9th. So if you're interested in joining any of our upcoming virtual cancer care virtual seminars, send us an email or give us a call. We'll be happy to help you and register you. Um, now, let's go over comments and questions. So let's see what I can find here. All right. So mainly what I can see are comments. Comments saying thank you and comments um, praising the presentation. Thank you so much, Kristen and Joanne, for sharing your time and knowledge with us. Um, I don't see any, any, any other question or comment, but um, to our audience, if you would like to get a contact with them or would you like their contact information or anything, feel free to send us an email. We'll be happy to contact you with them if you didn't write down their email addresses. Um, and then thanks so much again. Uh, thanks to um, Joanne, Kristen for your time and knowledge. And thank you so much for all of you for participating today. And now you have completed the session and you may disconnect. Have a great day, you all. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <clears throat>